Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Lee Halliday here, and I just wanted to make a quick video since it's been a little while. Because React version 16.6 just launched with this new um, feature called React.memo. So this video is going to be about five minutes long, and it's just going to quickly cover what is this thing, React.memo, how can you use it, how can it help you. So I've set up a simple little React application. I, uh, I use Create React App, and if you come in here to look at the code, you'll see that it is using the new React version, 16.6. .6. So that means we can try out React.memo. So let's take a look at the component quickly. Um, it's just a little app component, and it's got some state, uh, time, which will initiate to whatever the current date is. And then on component did mount, every one second using set interval, we will simply update the state, the time property to be the new time. And down here, we will render it out as a string. So just converting this date object into a string, otherwise we'll get an error on the, on the screen. So if we go and look at the app in the browser, uh, we can just make this a little bigger here. You can see that every one second as the set interval runs, it is updating the state, which is causing the component to re-render the new time. Great. So let's say we want to add um, a new child component that shows how often the time is updating. So we'll just create a new component here called child.js, and we'll import React from React. And we'll create a function called child, which will receive um, how many every how many seconds uh, it's going to update as a as one of its props. And then in here we will return a p tag, which renders out I am updating every uh, seconds. Okay, so I just have to export this export default child. And now I can go use this component inside of my app. So keep in mind that this is not a class-based component. It is a function-based component, okay? So we'll come back into app and we'll import child from child. And that will allow us to use it here. So remember, it wants us to, to pass in a prop like this. So if I come back here, it's not working right. Seconds, right? Okay. So even though this is grammatically incorrect, I'm updating every one seconds. It's showing up. It's displaying the, um, the prop that we passed in, the number one here. But this is causing somewhat of an un unseen issue. Uh, so let's go into our child. And let's console.log every time this child component renders. So um, I am rendering, well, console.log. So you can see down here in the console, this thing is rendering every second, even though it really doesn't need to, because the props that are, it is receiving literally hard coded as the number one. So theoretically, if this is a pure um, component, or in this case, a function, if the input to it never changes, meaning the props, the output should never change. It should always be the same if it's a pure component. But that's great, but what it's doing is it's trying to re-render every time, which, meaning, which means it's redoing the work every time that it doesn't need to do, which could cause some inefficiencies in your code. So this is what React Memo is meant to solve. It's basically saying, if the props are the same, don't re-render the component. And we can use it pretty easily. All we need to do is re uh, wrap react.memo around our child functional component. And what this will do, it will essentially look at the props it's receiving. And if the props are the same, which in our case it is, because it's always just the number one, 
it will reuse the previous render rather than redoing it every single time. So we come back here, we refresh the page. You can see that it's rendered once, so it said I am rendering, but it's, it hasn't been doing it every one second like it was previously doing, like our parent component here is re-rendering itself every one second. So basically, if your functional component is pure, meaning it's purely based on the incoming props, um, that means you only want to render it once for, for each set of unique props. And in that case, you'll want to use react.memo to get some performance improvements. So that's it for the video today, a nice short one, but definitely make use of this and you can get some improvement, some performance improvements out of your app. All right, take care. Have a good day. Cheers. Bye.